Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my NASDAQ YouTube channel. This is Johnny. In today's episode, I would like to show you how to use a Windows 7 image to replace a Ubuntu virtual machine in Oracle Cloud Platform. This is to respond to the request from my audiences. I received it a couple of times already and I think it's a good time to show you the process. Just one command, you can change your Ubuntu virtual machine to Windows 7 or Windows 2012, 2016, 2022 operating system. But I have to say this is only for your personal research interest. Your account will be in risk after you did this. Although I have run in this for a couple years already. Let's start it. Before I start uh, the lab, I want to show you the steps and the post. Um, here's the four steps we're going to do. We're going to create the Ubuntu VM, create a VNC session to the Ubuntu VM. And then we just need to log into Ubuntu VM, run just one command, one command. And then we can DD the Windows 7 image to replace that uh, Ubuntu VM. After that, we just need to test and change RDP port and the password for the security reasons. For all those steps, image list you can find out from my blog post, which you can find out on the list video description. If you want to look at the more this uh, previous video I recorded for DD Windows System to Cloud Linux VM, that's a Google Cloud Platform. Um, and also I have another video regarding how to create a VNC console to connect to the Oracle Cloud Platform. Now let's really start to work on. We're going to create a compute instance here. We're going to choose image. We, I'm going to use an always free, like an eligible tier machine. We're going to choose the image and the shape. The image, as I said in the blog post, it will be only works for the Ubuntu OS. So we're going to change this to Ubuntu. Latest one is 2204. If you want to use the older version, you may need a couple more commands as well. And that uh, we gonna upload our public key to make our life easier. And then you can just create your virtual machine. In probably ten seconds, your virtual machine will be provisioned, and then you can connect into it. The VM has been running now um, the, I'm going to show you the second step create a VNC session to this running instance it is optional step you don't have to run this step um, run one command to dd win 7 image step 3 you can directly go there but uh, for demonstrating purpose I want to show you how the system running when we are doing a DD image process, when we run that one command. So you will see with the VNC connection, you will see whole process there. I do have another blog post to explain how to do Oracle Cloud VNC console connection. If you want to take a look, you can check the video description under this video. So this is the basic topology about it. I'm going to use a middle server, middle Linux server, to create a SS tunneling to remove the Oracle VNC console connection. This is my Google Cloud Platform virtual machine I was using to do the VNC connection. So I'm going to SS to it. I have using my browser SSH into a GCP virtual machine. Uh, there are a couple of steps you will need to do. You need to generate your SSH public key, private key. I already done that. And uh, then I just need to show the public key, which 
we can uh, use it into our VNC console connection. Go back to the OCP instance page, scroll down, you will see console connection. Here, there's two buttons. One is launch cloud share connection. We will use second one, create local connection. So here is the place we're going to paste our public key for our SSH tunneling. This is the key we generate from our Google Cloud Platform virtual machine, which is our middle machine for SSH tunneling. Create console connection. After a couple of seconds, the console connection has been active. Now we gonna click those three dot icon here and copy VNC connection for Linux. Since we are using Linux as a middle server for the SSH tunneling, so we are gonna copy VNC connection for Linux. I'm gonna paste the code here to let everybody take a look. Let's let the SSH code. One thing we have to change is the list local host we change to you see everyone to connect to it. Not only local host can connect to it, we're gonna put everyone, so that's why we need to change that code. Cut this code. Now we go back to our Google Cloud Platform virtual machine and paste it in. So that's the command we're going to run on our middle Linux server. So they're going to ask you, do you want to continue to add this as a key? Do you trust it? Just type yes. So there's no output and the confirmation that this command is running. So it's just sitting there. But don't close this session because the session is listening 5900 port on a Google Cloud Platform's VM. Then you need to make sure the port 9500 has been opened because we're going to connect to it. Make sure this VM has firewall opened port 9500, which I already done before so I don't have to do it again. Make sure you got the list external IP. We're gonna connect into it using our VNC client. So this is mobile extern which is I using. So this SSH session is to our Oracle Cloud virtual machine we just created but we're gonna create a new session for our VNC. What you need to do is just paste the middle Linux server which is Google Cloud Platform Virtual Machines IP and click OK. We are using 5900 port. So we got this VNC connection now. So as you can see this VNC is up and running. So I'm gonna move this screen out a bit from the main screen. So because we're gonna show this process side by side with our Ubuntu session. So now we finished our second step. The last step to run one command to DD Windows 7 image. Just one command, not two commands. If you are running latest Ubuntu version. I just updated my documents. Those commands will show in my blog post once the cache expired. So those commands will show up. So we have Windows 2012, 2016, 2022 versions, but we're going to use in English Windows 7 version. So that's the command we're going to use. We're going to go back to the Ubuntu virtual machine in the Oracle Cloud Platform. Make sure you are in root mode. Just paste 
the command in. At the same time, I want to bring up that uh, VNC connection to show you the process. So you will see lots of magical things gonna happening through this VNC connection screen. So now the Ubuntu virtual machine is rebooting. We're gonna see all results from our VNC connection. I'm gonna minimize this and extract this one. So at the least page, you may need to wait probably 10 minutes to get this partition process done. I will come back once this part has been completed, then we will continue. So the system finished the partition that part. Now it's a rebooting starting the windows. So now setup is installing devices we're gonna wait a couple minutes more after that we should be able to log into windows 7 through rdp directly finally it's finished to configure the devices now it's going to starting windows process and setup is still preparing your computer for first use um, another one or two minutes then we should be able to rdb into the machine so great everything is being completed so we have our vnc connection to the windows 7 vm which was ubuntu vm username administrator password and a t dot E. Again, username, administrator, password, nat.ee. You will need to change the password once you log into the system for a security reason. You have to do it right away. Also, strongly suggest that you change your RDP port from 3389 to something else. For example, 33890. You can use this tool.cmd file. So if you double click on it, you can choose one, two, three, those things you need to do. change your RTP port, change your user password, and then reboot the machine. But of course, on a Oracle instance, you have to open that remote desktop port. For example, the one we, if we are using 33890 you have to allow 33890 as well. Let's have a RDP session. So if you change your port to 33890, then you have to use in this kind of format to log in. Right now, we don't have that change. So we're gonna use in directly using uh, IP to log in without port number. Again, I didn't open 3389. So if you look at my network security group, so what I will do here, I'm gonna change to default security group policy, which gonna allow 3389 port. Let's try it again. Administrator password, password nat.ee. We are in now.
we still have our remote session, VNC session, and we have our RDP session both open. So this session, VNC session logged out, and our RDP session logged in. So we uh, continue our VNC administrator session here. That's why you can see that NAT.ee tool shows here, that administrator NAT.ee. That's the uh, username and the password we logged in right now. You strongly suggest to change that right away. We're going to look at the process performance, how many memory being used, how, almost half of a gig memory used, CPU is almost zero. So that is how you can install Windows 7 to your Oracle Cloud virtual machine. Again, this is risky action. Your account may be will get disabled or deleted because of this usage. It's completely violating the Oracle Cloud Platform's uh, policy. Use it wisely for their testing purpose. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you find this video has some useful information, please give me a thumb up. Also subscribe my channel if you haven't. See you in my next video.